You know, one thing that interests me, and I really want Dom's perspective from this as well, was the keeping situation at Arsenal. Emi Martinez, longest serving player at the club before he left, obviously, uh, called upon because of an injury to Leno during Project Restart. Impressed, won two trophies, now he's at Aston Villa. I think he just kept another clean sheet as well, by the way, and saved a penalty on his debut. Dom, relating to your time at Leeds, I remember when it was Nigel Martin and Paul Robinson, the England veteran, well, usually a uh, backup to David. David Seaman and Paul Robinson, who would go on to become England's number one as well. It can be a tricky situation, but who do you think uh, is actually the better keeper? Um, oh gosh, I mean, it's, it's a real difficult one, that, isn't it? I don't think it, any of them have been absolutely outstanding for Arsenal, if, you, if I'm being brutally honest. Um, obviously, Leno's got his opportunity tonight. Um, it's interesting how the, what the Arsenal fans think of him because when, every time I speak to, to an Arsenal fan, I don't think they're that sure um, on the goalkeeping situation. For me personally, um, you know, they've obviously paid a few quid for him, but I don't feel as though he's, he's got enough authority about him. He doesn't, he doesn't seem to have that voice. You know, when you talk about the great um, goalkeepers that, that Arsenal have had, you always need a voice, don't you? I think when you, that's the most important voice for me on the football field. Um, and that's what Arsenal are lacking and I still think they are under Leno. So uh, it would be interesting to see this um, tonight, how they get on against you know, the, the front three and the movement of Liverpool. Um, can, can Arsenal try and outdo Liverpool um, in, that, in that situation? But overall, I think that is an issue for Arsenal. I think they do need to get another goalkeeper in um, and you know, need to get, it in, get somebody in quick. Tony, I'm can jumping, I get your I'm, take? Yeah, I'm, I'm jumping at the bit here, Don, because Martinez was incredible, you know, in their cup run. He was absolutely sensational. Yeah. And I, thought, I do like big ones. And what, what Lino does struggle for, for me, is crosses and stuff. But it isn't about me. You know, the, Arteta's got yeah. no, actually, Lino is my number one. I like him. He's put all yeah. the faith in him. I don't believe that he's a top four goalkeeper for me. You know what I mean? This no. is big. You know, Martin, it, it was coincident. Everything fell into place for Arsenal in the cup competition last year. It was like yeah. kind of, a, a, it was written in the stars. You know, it kind of, this goalkeeper comes in, another one that's not been at the club for 10 years and not, not played, you know, 10 games. And he comes in, stops everything. You know, he, play, he was a man possessed. You know, he was absolutely incredible. And for me, he was the number one. Now you've made the opportunity, you've got it uh, experienced, you know, go, OK, yeah, but Arteta's the man and he's chosen a different goalkeeper. I, I think the, if you've got the top goal, the best goalkeeper, you're more likely to win stuff, aren't you? There's no two ways about it. It's, the most, it's becoming one of the, probably the most important position on the field, goalkeeper. You know, look at Liverpool under Alisson. They're a completely different side. When he doesn't play, I worry about Liverpool when he doesn't play. But when he's playing, there's that bit of a safety net as well. Yeah, let's not forget Champions League when they went out to Atletico and Adrian was in goal for that and he made a mistake, ultimately very costly.